Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Inflation heats up, Biden's defense budget boost, and mega cap market correction loans, J.P. Morgan. Boeing 737 MAX 10 production on pause, NYCB proposes reverse stock split. Wall Street unfazed by CPI data with record S&P close, Dow and Nasdaq follow suit. Jaron under FDA review ahead of blood cancer therapy meeting and Trump's unexpected offer to Elon Musk for truth social acquisition. Stay tuned after this short ad break as we delve deeper into these headlines and more. In February, the United States Consumer Price Index experienced a rise of 0.4%. This is a slight increase compared to January's rise of 0.3% as reported by the Department of Labor. The primary drivers behind this surge were shelter and gasoline prices. However, it seems that inflation is stabilizing above the Federal Reserve's target of 2%. Consequently, experts are forecasting that interest rates will continue to stay high for the time being. The proposed budget for the upcoming fiscal year by President Biden includes a 1% hike in defense expenditure, amounting to $849.8 billion. This is anticipated to elevate total defense expenditures to $895 billion in light of worldwide conflicts such as the invasion of Ukraine by Russia and the war in Gaza led by Israel. The proposal also encompasses a 4.5% salary increase for uniformed service members and advocates for a 2% raise for federal employees, including Defense Department civilians. To address ongoing delays in budget approvals from Congress, changes to the budget process are being proposed by the Pentagon. Marco Kalinovic, a strategist at J.P. Morgan, has issued a warning about the possibility of a market correction. This is due to an excessive concentration in momentum stocks such as Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Tesla. He believes that this situation is being driven by rising interest rates and the impact of large language model stocks like Meta, Salesforce, NVIDIA, and Microsoft along with Broadcom. Kalinovic advises investors to be wary of a potential turnaround when the excitement around artificial intelligence reaches its peak. United Airlines has asked Boeing to stop making 737 MAX 10 jets. Instead, they are choosing a smaller model and have started placing orders with Airbus, a rival company. This decision was made as Boeing shares dropped by 4.6%, reaching the lowest point in four months. This drop is due to problems with manufacturing and investigations into their quality control measures. United has plans to go back to using the larger plane once it gets approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. New York Community Bancorp is planning a one-for-three reverse stock split, which is still awaiting shareholder approval. This decision comes on the heels of a capital infusion deal worth $1.5 billion with investors, among them Liberty Strategic Capital and Hudson Bay Capital Management. The objective of this move is to draw in more investors and boost authorized shares to $1.7 billion. Despite experiencing a significant 67% decrease in share price this year, the shares of NYCB saw an increase of 4.3% during Tuesday's midday trading. Tuesday witnessed a substantial surge on Wall Street, with technology and artificial intelligence shares such as Oracle and NVIDIA at the forefront. This development followed consumer inflation data that barely altered predictions of interest rate reductions. Both the Nasdaq Composite and S&P 500 progressed by more than 1%, while the Dow Jones ascended by 0.61%. Even with an inflation rate surpassing expectations, market forecasts still predict a rate cut in June. Stocks in the biotechnology company Jaron experienced a decrease following concerns raised by the Food and Drug Administration regarding its blood cancer treatment, known as Imidlestat. Currently, this medication is being evaluated as a potential therapy for transfusion-dependent anemia in patients with lower-risk myelodysplastic syndromes. Even though it met trial endpoints, the FDA expressed doubts about its therapeutic benefits and possible side effects. This week, an advisory committee is set to vote on whether the advantages of this drug outweigh its potential risks. Reports suggest that the ex-president, Donald Trump, had a discussion with Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, about buying his social media platform known as Truth Social during the previous summer. However, they did not reach an agreement. 
Instead of this purchase, Musk decided to buy Twitter in 2022 for a whopping $44 billion. In other news, Trump Media and Technology Group is planning to go public via a transaction with the special purpose acquisition company also known as SPAC Digital World Acquisition. And that's a wrap on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Keep investing in your knowledge, folks. Until next time, stay savvy and successful. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.